Hello everyone, it's Frances with your Book of Memories. I've got a cute little project I'd love to share with you. We created this folio in our life class and it was just so much fun. For this little folio, I did use by Paper Studio black and white botanics. It was just a blast to use these watercolor illustrations and I love how bold and pretty and happy it is. So right here on the front cover, we made a cute little Polaroid picture frame. And of course, <laughs> there's a little pocket in there so you can put your picture. And I did have a set of random stickers from the paper studio as well. And I stuck that little love right there. Oh my goodness, it was so fun to put together. <laughs> and right here on the front inside cover, you have this cute little frame. And right off the bat, you'll notice that cute box that holds that wonderful little insert in there. <laughs> oh my goodness. I just love it. Nice big area for a trim down photo right here. And then you can even journal on the back if you wanted or add another picture. I just fussy cut this element out of, again, one of the pages and stuck another sticker there. So easy. And right here, you'll notice this adorable little acetate. We have to let it shine. It's so much fun. And there's ribbon pull tab. This helps it magnetize to the back. <laughs> and there's an adorable, cute little acetate box where this little unit fits into. I backed this on some cardstock to make it a bit more sturdy and it's its own little unit. So this is a magnetic closure and opens right up. And then we have that beautiful acetate window. And you can have a picture right there on the front if you want. And that opens up again. <laughs> and I've layered some of the pieces here and attached a couple of these stickers and I mounted them on white cardstock and put them there. And we have like a double sided pocket right here. And this was just so cute. I thought topping the tags here would be super fun with just a little bit of crochet yarn. And then we have a couple square photo mounts. And then this one I did journaling lines on the back with just a cute chalk marker. And right down here we have some simple little angle pockets and we got a couple more photo mats in there. So fun. You can even journal on the back and mat only the front if you wanted. <laughs> You open it up and we have a couple strips of design paper there and then again a couple more stickers love it so much a nice big five by seven spot right here front and back portrait and landscape and then he has his own little pocket which is on a flap <laughs> he comes down and reveals a couple more little areas for pictures and i just thought this page was so beautiful i love florals in paper packs we have an awesome little place for a four by six right here and it's inside of its own little tuck spot <laughs> And then I made this acetate page. Oh my goodness. Added my own little cute little girl right there. And a cute sticker. And a couple little, you'll see, I'm a chalk marker fanatic, so I just love adding my own little additions into my books. <laughs> and there's a cute little pole right on the back of this one too. And another cute girl. And right here, here's more of a landscape style picture. And that just tucks right back in here and you can really stuff whatever you want in these little areas. And here's one more right back here. I love that cute plant sticker again. That's from Hobby Lobby. I just kind of threw this book together because the paper itself didn't have its own cut apart. So I just mixed and matched with stickers I thought could go with it. And there's a memory sticker. And again, of course you can stick your picture right underneath. <laughs> this was so much fun to make. And it just folds up simply like this. And I know that this is a book that you can make. Oh my goodness. I think my favorite part is how it clips in the back. Just like that. <laughs> Thank you everyone so much for watching. Bye.